How's it going everyone? This is James from the OP Poker team. Today we're going to be looking at a session review for Power Up. We haven't done it in a long while, so this should be a lot of fun. Um, it's a community member, BBB156. So thank you very much for sending that in. Let's go and uh, check it out. Okay, so we're going to be observing BBB156, uh, see how he does in this Power Up session. Uh, I presume we've got one or two games worth here. Not sure how many, but we'll see how it goes. Very first hand, we got 4-2 off, and we have two powers. These powers are Scanner and Disintegrate. Uh, so the best starting hand for hand number one would obviously be Pocket Aces in your whole cards, and something like Engineer and Upgrade, or Engineer and Reload, or Engineer and EMP, or Scanner and EMP, stuff like that. That would be pretty preferable having scanner is good having disintegrate is bad so it's slightly below average starting powers and a very below average starting hand so you don't want to be playing that for sure um looks like the goal will be depending on what the third power is in the next hand let's see what happens okay so the very next hand we've got jack nine and we have intel the very first thing that I will be doing now that the Intel has come out is cycling said Intel. We're going to be looking for upgrade or reload or EMP. That's the kind of powers we want to look for. Uh, Intel, a play Intel. And if we see anything that relates to the Jack or a 9, then we stay and stick around in the pot. If not, we're probably folding. Let's see what our player does here. Hey, I like it. Good stuff. Seize the six of diamonds. I guess that's enough to raise with. Uh, I probably would be limping or folding myself, but I don't mind the raise at all. I think that's completely reasonable, given that you got all this added information that other people don't have. I'm fine with that. Unfortunately, our opponent uses the scanner power and these top pair coming. He gets rid of it. I think it's very unlikely for us to be able to win the pot without hitting something here. I guess we've got to have to just give it up. And that's what we're doing. So yeah, I think if I saw the Six of Diamonds coming out, I probably would be limping, to be honest. Uh, it should be a fairly easy fold. You don't have great powers behind you, so... Let it go. Uh, we can skip through this hand, I guess. Ooh. Okay, and again we got scanner, and again we probably will look to either use the disintegrate or the intel in this hand. I think so. Yeah, I think I'd use the intel, and then fold. Unless I saw something that really helps me. So that's the first thing that we would do done differently for sure. Is uh, I want to be cycling this power. Obviously, it means we have a lot less points, but it's more important for me to get that combination of really good powers early on as quickly as possible um, than worrying about having nine points or ten points or whatever. I'm just, just going to keep using the powers trying to find the combination. Yay. So we do use the intel. This hand, not so bad. Um, we're not using it to stick around. We have a crappy hand, so we're just going to be folding, especially when someone makes it 300 chips to go. Um, the goal here is obviously to look for upgrade, reload, or EMP. And if we find EMP, then the goal would next goal would be to get rid of disintegrate. We're just looking for that combination. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, combination, uh, look at our video combination plays or combination powers i think it's combination plays you should be able to find it um we get the new new card siphon siphon uh in the early game i just use it as a cycling very very quickly uh later on though i would be using it for lots of other bunch of other reasons now the question is who do you want to siphon here um that depends on a lot of factors but generally speaking i would siphon the player who has the least amount of points um, because it forces them um, to fold a lot of hands for the next few 
few uh, rounds. So next hand, he will be on the button and you'll be on the big blind. And he will only have, if you use Cypher now, he would only have three points. He would have five points. So playing from the bottom with five points, you don't want to play many cards at all. So you're protecting your big blind the next hand by keeping him low points. Whereas if you use Siphon on this player, he has eight points now and would have ten points the next hand. So ten points, he can nearly do all the combination powers that, that he wants to still. So it's really not as good as going for the guy with the shorter powers. Now, obviously, there are exceptions to the case. And uh, he might know something that we don't. So maybe this skip player is really good and you don't want him uh, taking all the chips from this player. Maybe. But I don't know this. Looks like they're playing a post flop hand. Okay, they use deploy an x-ray. It's important to recognize what's going on. And take it down. All right, so our next power again is Intel. Three in a row. Very nice. <laughs> I can see that BPP is pretty upset about that. Uh, you're not in a worse spot, though, because you're up, up against a player that uh, apparently doesn't uh, like folding, even with small amount of powers. Anyway, I like using Disintegrate here. I don't mind that at all. You could have used Intel, you could use Disintegrate. I wouldn't really use both. Um, I think I'll go for a small bet on the river here. Bet 150 chips. But um, it's not that big of a difference to what I would do taking down. It's not a must value bet spot. Okay, again we get Siphon. Uh, but this time we also have intel i think what i would use is intel nice and he sees a low card that's nice uh so now you can really go for a big bet i don't think i would use siphon to be honest i think i would just make a big bet myself with jacks if you saw a queen king or ace come out then you've got to play a little bit differently but Thanks to Intel, you just see a 5 coming. I don't think it's you need to use that Siphon at all. I think you can keep it for later. You have a nice combination here. This is the combination, kind of the combination we're looking for. Scanner and Upgrade. So Scanner allows us to see the next two cards. Upgrade allows us to uh, take one of those cards into our hand. And then we can keep it or throw it away. So it's got uh, a lot of use, even if you uh, actually don't want the card that you pulled out from Scanner, if you want the next card to fall on the board. Pretty useful in that spot. Um, we've flopped top pair. I don't mind using... So I don't mind just betting here. I wouldn't be using this combination yet. I don't think the pot is big enough to want to do that. Um, when you've got a good combination, you only really want to use that good combination if you're forced to. So the first thing that I would do is um, just bet with a top pair and go from there. We have a point advantage on our opponent. Um, we don't want to use the combination. We do want to put on the pressure. And then if we need to, we can look for two pair or sets or whatever. Trips, etc, etc. Uh, I think betting the turn is probably a mistake. Now that you haven't got that protection of Scanner. Uh, and now you're in... A lot of shit. <laughs> and I guess you want to be folding unless you know something about the opponent. That wasn't great. I think that, that had a lot of uh, different ways that we could have played that. So I would have just on that flop, you when you hit top pair, make a C bet, make a small C bet and go from there. Um, and then only use that combination if you really need to. So, yeah. Looks like Dennis is uh, new to the game. Using Engineer preflop in position, generally not a good idea unless you have something like pocket tens and you want to make sure you go all in with, uh, with those in a good spot. Again, we get Intel. Now, this is actually not so bad to have Intel here. Um, 
I personally would be raising any two against this player. And then if he calls, use Intel post flop and make sure you win the pot that way. Even with 8-3, I'll be raising. Get Intel again. Um, you have a huge point advantage over everyone. So again, this would be a spot where I would raise any two. And then if we see a flop, use Intel. And then if I need to use upgrade, then use it. Um, or make a C bet. Whatever you feel like will get the most uh, tips for you. So again, I don't like... I would play this differently. I don't think I like this. Um, when you have a point advantage on the others, you had 13 points and they have, they're sitting on uh, 6 sitting on six and 5 points. You can raise any two. You've got such an advantage, especially as Max. Max used EMP as well. So it's very unlikely people can just deny you from using those powers. Uh, so I just make a small raise and presume I take it down a lot pre-flop. And then as soon as I see a flop, we can decide whether to just see bet or use Intel and see bet. So we're watching them have a play out a pot. Got the flush. We're in a really good spot. Uh, points wise especially now we've got this really nice combination really nice um yeah i like the raise i like it a lot uh, i would just do all but one chip to be honest i don't really want to use the points if i can get him to just fold i'm quite okay with that if i need to use the points i will so use engineer let's see what we can pick out okay um i guess we want to give ourselves ace king here Got some other options as well. We could just give ourselves three diamonds. I think Ace King, you're just gonna have to go for it. It's just, you've just got too much of your um, stack in the middle. You're gonna have to take the Ace, put it in your hand with upgrade, and cool. That was incredible. Up against King Nine, looking good. Nice. Got that double up, uh, and more importantly, you're low points, but you have EMP. So if someone starts attacking you, and you've got a fairly decent hand. When you're ten big blinds deep, you can just EMP into them. But I do like the fold here. Um, you could, I guess, try limping, but I like folding. Um, right now you're low points, so you don't want to do too much cycling, but. In the future, we will be looking at getting intel out of our hand. Okay, we've got the flush draw, so we're not going anywhere. Guess you just check call. Check it again. If they bet any decent size, then I would be using engineer. But uh, instead, they use engineer themselves. Pick out the seven. And check it. Well, we've got a seven, so that's nice. Got a little bit of showdown value now. Can check it. I guess they're gonna check back. Worth the goal in. It's a fairly easy fold. Now we have the point advantage, so we can put the pressure on. Uh, I don't think I would with six three, given how they've been playing. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry. Uh, I wouldn't use Intel at this point because I want to be able to use the engineer EMP combo. At all times, and next hand, I'll only have seven points, so I wouldn't be able to do that. So I would wait until I have enough for the very next hand to still have eight points. So I would want um, nine points before I used Intel. Sorry, is that nine? Yeah, nine points rather than eight. Anyway, I guess now that we've used it, we're going to have to play the pot. <laughs> I don't mind going in for a raise, pre-flop, but uh, not a problem. I don't mind betting as well. I like the bet. Take it down. Nice. Now we're even in points, but we've got two decent powers. So I f I'm feeling good. Unfortunately, we get this disintegrate power that's uh, put a spanner in the works. Um, 
So at some point we will look to get rid of it. If we can find a decent time to do so. This might be one of those times. Um, you could think about disintegrating the ace, but I wouldn't. Uh, I think it's very unlikely that Max Max has an ace because they probably would be raising us preflop with uh, an ace. But on future streets, if a king or a queen comes out, we can look to disintegrate. Okay, I like this. I like this play a lot. I'm just going to call. Very nice hand. Hit the two pair. I'm really liking this. This is this is going nicely. Uh, I think you should go for a value bet now. Uh, question is how much? I don't think I would go for all in sizing. I don't think so. I think I would just go for a small bet, trying to get value from other jacks that our opponent might have. Uh, also, if if we see them pull out uh, a card with Engineer and put it down, for example, a heart, we can fold to an all-in. Uh, anyway, Ace-King, very nice hand, facing a limp. We're going to raise. I don't mind going all-in or all but one chip or whatever you want to do. I wouldn't use the MP. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind... Just making it 1,500 chips to go or all in or whatever. You got a really strong hand. No need to worry. So yeah, going all in is fine. In queen, the very next hand. Okay. Something that I would want to limp. The main reason I'm limping is because of we have less points than our opponent. So we don't want to be playing too many hands, but we kind of have to because we're just paying dead money. We don't want to give him dead money all the time. So we're going to have to be limping some of the time. So this would be one of them. Uh, I don't like using EMP here. I would prefer much more chips in the pot before using that. You're using one of like the most powerful powers to win 450 chips. I, I don't like that play. Um... I wouldn't do that. I think it's a waste of the, the the power because you're in a spot where um let's say this guy went all in or all with one chip. You can use e uh, engineer look for a king or a queen or a jack or a 10, something that makes your hand really nice and strong. Then use EMP and they can't do anything about it. And if they had a bluff, they're in big sh big doo doo. But now that you've used it It can be uh, problematic. Luckily, however, you manage to find the power reload. And in one hand, you'll soon be able to use Engineer and Reload, which is a super strong power. That's nice. You know Max Max has Disintegrate for sure. Uh, so he has Disintegrate and one other power. This is really, really good to find out about. Um, BBB is saying he thinks he has an 8. Uh... Could do. Uh, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if I'm willing to try and figure out what he has here. I think he could have nine, ten, queen, ten, all sorts of stuff like that as well. There you go, nine, ten. <laughs> I swear to God, I have not watched this video before, and uh, it was good, man. When you make the right read, so. Now you've got the amazing combination of Engineer and Reload. Probably I'm going to be playing a lot of hands. Uh, the question is, does 6-2 get involved as well? And this is a spot where if I had Engineer and Upgrade, I wouldn't be limping 6-2 off. But because we have the, specifically the Reload power, I would be playing every single hand here. Um, you know that one of the powers he has is Disintegrate. I think you're in a really good spot there. So, um, considering your combination is going to be stronger than his, I'll be playing all my powers, all my sorry, all my cards. I like this hand. I like this Jack Nine, playing it nice and aggressively. Um, at some point, it doesn't really matter what stage of the hand you wanted to play it aggressively, but because you got this combination, 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I don't mind raising as well, because you've got that combination we've just been hammering on about. Uh, queen, seven board. Okay, now he's saying he has a queen here, for sure. Easy fold, of course. Um, managed to get him to use EMP, so we can really, really attack him now. Um, be really aggressive pre-flop. Let's go for it. Uh, I would use Intel here, just to see what's coming out. A bit of cycling, pretty much. You see a six. If it was a five, I would call a six. Maybe not. If it was the six of hearts or the six of diamonds, I can see an argument for calling as well. Anyway, let's put the pressure on. Good, good. I like the raise. Nice, nice. Yes. Looking good. Queen six, they use the uh, intel power and limp. Uh, we got a few options. This is not one of the options that I would use. I probably, what? <laughs> why, why did he get rid of the, I don't have a clue why he got rid of that and let him see one of his cards. I think that's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, now this whole hand is a bit weird because he can see that you have a free. Uh, yeah. What I would have done is just raised in pre-flop, <laughs> not used any powers. Um, yeah. Ace 10. All but one chip. I don't mind that because he's used the uh, EMP recently. Unlikely he has it himself. And even if he did, you got an ace. That's all good. Doesn't like those cards. Good, good. He's using all his points right now. That's amazing. Picks out the seven folds. You're in a really, really, really nice spot now. I uh, got to be a huge favorite to win the game. Um, our opponent just way overused his points. Okay, now we're going to use engineer. Find something good. Looking for a seven, an ace, a queen. Okay, ace queen. That'll do. I'm going to pick out the queen. Then I would clone the engineer first. Yeah, good. I like it. Good. Reload the queen into your hand. So you have ace-queen. Nice. Make the call. Up against ace-8. Hello. It's as easy as that, huh? Now you just got to get those last 600 chips off him. Let's see if we can do it. E6 versus King 10. Come on now. Unlucky. More often than not, you just won the game there, so. Unfortunate, but. Stuff happens. 9 4. You're sitting, what, two big blinds deep? I guess again you want to be aggressive here um i personally would have just gone all but one chip on the way you can't go all but one chip i'll just put him all in pre-flop make him use points um yourself so using scanner here i wouldn't i would just go all in i don't see how scanner's going to help you you have no idea of what his range really is so I'll just take my middle pair, go all in with it, um, and know that occasionally you're going to lose, but he's probably going to have to use points to make sure he wins. And by the next hand, you will have eight points, and he has next to zero or four points or something like that. So that would be really nice. Whereas now he's just going to use Scanner anyway. Nice. All right, good game, BBB. Um, I like a lot of what they're doing so far in this game. Um, I think there was a few mistakes in the middle game. One big mistake that we saw, of course. Um, but overall, I, I like the direction that BBB's, BBB's game is going. 
Uh, I hope this video was of use to him and to you, all you at home. If you want to send in some videos yourselves, then head on over to our Discord channel. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And in there, you can say to everyone, um, you can post hands yourself in the Power Up Clips and Hand Histories, or you can, if you want, to send in a video like BBB did. Um, we're out for doing it for free, so don't worry about that. It's all free of charge. Um, but you all have to be on YouTube, and we will have to look at some questionable hands, maybe. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'll be back on with another YouTube video probably in the next few days. Got a bunch of session reviews to work through. Uh, not just for power-ups. The next one might be for spin and goes. So we'll see. Thanks everyone for watching and peace.